What is Talveg? The Talveg is a term used in hydrology, geology, and geography to describe the path of maximum velocity in depth within a river or other waterway. Essentially, it refers to the deepest part of a river channel where the water flows with the greatest force. The term Talweg is derived from the German word Talweg, which means valley way. In practical terms, the Talweg can be identified as the line connecting the lowest points of the river channel, or the line along which water would flow if the river were a smooth and uniform channel. It is important to note that the Talweg is not necessarily located in the center of the channel. Instead, it may shift depending on factors such as the slope of the riverbed and the presence of obstructions. The Talveg is significant because it influences the behavior of water in a river or other waterway. It determines the direction and speed of flow, as well as the amount of sediment and other materials that are carried along by the water. In addition, the Talveg can be used as a boundary between different legal jurisdictions or territories, such as between two countries or states. Knowledge of the Talveg is important in a variety of fields, including hydrology, environmental science, and civil engineering. For example, engineers may need to identify the Talveg of a river when designing structures such as bridges or levees, as the path of the Talveg can influence the stability of these structures. Similarly, hydrologists may use data on the Talveg to model the behavior of a river or to predict how changes in the channel will affect water flow and sediment transport. In summary, the Talveg is the path of maximum velocity and depth within a river or other waterway, and it plays an important role in determining the behavior of water and sediment in these systems. How is Talveg formed? The formation of a Talveg is a complex process that depends on a variety of factors, including the underlying geology, the slope of the riverbed, and the presence of obstructions such as rocks or vegetation. Generally speaking, the Talveg tends to follow the path of least resistance, which is typically a combination of the deepest and most direct route for the water to flow. One of the primary factors that influences the formation of a Talveg is the underlying geology of the riverbed. For example, if the river flows over bedrock that is relatively resistant to erosion, the Talveg is likely to be narrow and deep, as the water will be forced to follow the path of least resistance along the most erodible portions of the bedrock. On the other hand, if the river flows over softer sediments that are easily eroded, the Talveg may be wider and more meandering, as the water will have more freedom to carve out a channel. The slope of the riverbed is also an important factor in determining the location and shape of the Talveg. Generally, the Talveg tends to follow the steepest portion of the riverbed, as this is where the water will flow with the greatest force. As the river flows downstream, the slope of the riverbed may change, causing the Talveg to shift to a different location. Obstructions such as rocks or vegetation can also influence the formation of a Talveg. For example, if a large boulder is located in the path of the river, the water may be forced to flow around it, creating a secondary channel that rejoins the main channel downstream. This can result in a braided stream pattern, where the Talveg consists of multiple interconnected channels. Over time, the formation and location of the Talveg may change due to various factors such as erosion, sediment deposition, and changes in the river's flow regime. In some cases, human activities such as dredging or dam construction can also influence the Talveg, altering the behavior of the river and its ecosystem. Understanding the formation and behavior of the Talveg is important for predicting and managing these changes, as well as for designing structures such as bridges or levees that need to be located in or near the river channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.